Thanks for stopping by. I'm Kent Seacrest with Prairie Quilt. And I love sewing machines. I love embroidery machines and quilting machines. I like machines. And we started carrying a new machine, the Brother brand, recently. And I just cannot believe all the features this new machine, the Dream Machine 2, has on it. One of the features that I got to show you, because there's just so many, I can't get into all of them, and that is the ability to do your quilting in the hoop. The, I mean, brother, their tagline is at your side, but I think it should be brother at your side, loading you up with extra goodies. Because I mean, this Dream Machine 2, when you unbox it after you get it home, the stuff in there, the accessories just keeps coming and coming and coming. And this is one of the things that comes with it is a nine and a half square embroidery frame. Now the benefit to it is, this size frame is, is you can do a quilt block that'll embroider out to nine and a half inches. So you can do a 12 inch quilt block in this very easily. But if you do a quilt block in this, wouldn't it be nice if you could also quilt your hoop as you go, quilt your embroidery blocks as you go. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that on this machine today. So one of the things about this hoop that I like, it's a new hoop to accommodate the new size. It's 11 and a quarter inch area here. And so you can now do a larger embroidery area. And one of the things they did with this hoop is they put little rubber strips on the inside of the hoop to grab the fabric because it's such a large area. It just helps hold your fabric better. So let's pretend I've got a quilt and I made a block and this blue square here is just going to represent my applique in the middle. It could be a boot, it could be a hat, it could be a sunbonnet suit, it could be anything, but that's my center of my quilt block and I want to quilt around it. And I'm going to show you that this morning here. I'm going to slide my hoop on the machine and we go to my design center. And in my design center, I can scan in my hoop. And it's gonna scan in my quilt block. The image of whatever it is that's in my hoop is gonna show up on the screen. So now that I've got it scanned in, I touch OK. And then now look, you can see where it's got my quilt block design in the middle of the screen there. And now with that, I have something to work with. So if that's my quilt area, I don't want a quilt in that area, do I? So I'm going to create a border for the outside of the quilt block so it doesn't quilt outside of the quilt block or to the edges. I want it to stop before it reaches the edges because I need seam allowance or I want to control this. So I'm going to make that block a box around the quilt area or the quilting design. So now what I want to do is I want to, to quilt around this area. So to do that, I'm going to choose a quilt type stitch. And when I do, I can select for many built-in stitch patterns, which is a lot of fun. I like the cross hatch. I'm gonna choose that and say, okay. And now to have it quilt around it, I'm gonna cho choose the fill icon and just touch in the area I want it to fill, just like that. So my quilt pattern, whatever that is, sunbonnet, sewer, whatever, doesn't matter, doesn't get quilted on. And as I touch the next button and preview, this will go right into a screen where I can embroider that out. And it is now ready to quilt my quilting in the hoop without having to take it to the a long armor or to struggle with it on my machine free motion and it'll quilt nice, perfect stitches. And I just think that is so cool. When I go to use this machine, one of the things I really like, once I'm ready to embroider, I just touch embroidery, 
I can just touch the, the go button and it will start to quilt. Just like that. Not only is it an automatic tool, but it's a beautiful automatic tool. Let's say I have my dog playing next to me and he trips over the cord and he pulls it from the wall and turns my machine off and you lose power. How terrible is that? Right in the middle of stitching. But what you can do is turn your brother, Dream Machine 2, back on. And when you do, it recognizes that you are in the middle of a project and recognizes that you need to get back to where you were and you don't have to do anything but just let it see right there on its own it said okay to recall and resume previous memory okay let's do it there it is woohoo so now I'm right back where I was Just like that, I'm back in business. Didn't skip a beat. Isn't that wonderful? It's little things like that that just make embroidering on the Brother Dream Machine 2 a dream. I'm going to stop the machine for a second because I want to show you something else that I really like. Let's see, I need to stop and do something to my machine. I need to change the needle or change the bobbin. And I'm worried about the machine with all these buttons running on accident or something happening while I'm doing what I'm doing because if I touch a button I may start sewing while I'm trying to change a needle or I may accidentally step on the foot pedal while I'm changing a needle and have it run well on the brother dream machine as part of just being a dream you just touch that button right there and it locks the whole machine from any button working. You can't accidentally change anything. So while you're doing something other than embroidering, you don't have to worry about accidentally doing something you didn't want to do. When you're all finished changing your needle, changing your bobbin, whatever you're doing, you can tap that button again and start right back over again, right where you were, and be off and running so you don't miss a beat. And that's just part of enjoying sewing. You don't have to fight it when you do normal everyday things like change needles. Another just nice thing, I can look up here at a glance, it tells me exactly how much time is left in the embroidery. I mean, stitches are nice. It tells me how many stitches are left, but really time is nice, right? I'm hungry, I wanna have lunch, should I stop? Or, oh, it's only gonna be eight minutes. I guess I could wait eight minutes. I, you know, everything I do revolves around food. So all I gotta do is wait eight minutes and I get to have lunch. Well, these are just a few of the little things I find exciting on the Brother Dream Machine 2. I hope to get to bring you more things that I, that I like because I have so many. I just don't want to take a lot of time. I really appreciate you stopping by and seeing us here at Prairie Quilt and our video channel. And we hope to bring you many more videos that you can enjoy and learn about your machine.